Welcome out to another one of our pregame show segments. It's time to jump into our standout student, as that is being brought to you by Simple Eatery in Buena Vista. And uh, Jordan Burnett taking some time to talk with us from South Park High School. And Jordan, you're a senior. Uh, the second one of uh, that name to be going through in the last two years. Are you excited for your senior year, or did watching your sister go through senior year make you a bit nervous? I'm actually really excited. I think the classes I'll take are going to be really cool. When you talk about classes, what are some of the classes that you're most excited excited for? I think just some college classes and some medical terminology classes so that it'll prep me for college. When you talk about those college classes, what's the difference between taking one of those and taking a, a high school class or, or, or an AP class? Um, I haven't taken any AP classes yet, but from my regular classes, you have to put more work into it just because it's not one-on-one -on -one with the teacher, so it's either this is your only chance or you don't get a good grade. Do you kind of like that challenge a little bit more and pushing yourself a bit more? Yeah, I do, actually. What's your favorite subject to push yourself in? If you could sit into a classroom all day long, what, what class would you like to take? Chemistry. All right, I like that. What's, uh, what's your favorite stuff to do in chemistry? Because there's some experimenting, and there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of research that can go into it. What's your favorite stuff to do? And if you have a favorite experiment, what's that? I like the experiments, but I'm not sure what my favorite one is yet. We've only done a couple so far this year. Do you like the ones where things blow up, or do you like the ones where things kind of like grow on stuff? There's so many places with chemistry. The ones where they blow up are super cool. <laughs> well, make sure your, your teachers know that, and we'll see how many explosions we can get over. Small ones, <laughs> little explosions we can get over there in the classrooms. Talking about teachers, what, what are some of the things you like in a teacher that make it easy for you to learn from them, especially looking at college and, and going to that next level? I like when they can relate to you, and if you ask for them to slow down or repeat something, they will rather than just zoom through everything and then you don't know what you're doing. Any teachers up there at South Park who really have uh, connected with you and you got that bond with? I like Mr. Knudsen and Miss Bliska. Now uh, yeah. to some other fun stuff outside of the schoolwork because there's a lot more that goes on there at South Park High School. I know you play volleyball and are in athletics, obviously, but do you do any clubs or groups outside of sports at the school? I do Student Council and National Honor Society. When you talk about Student Council, uh, a, a lot that you guys can do when it comes inside of the school that's kind of behind the scenes. What are some of the things you're looking forward to this year with Student Council that you guys are going to try and put together? I'm excited to do Powder Puff. We haven't done it for a long time, but I think we're going to bring it back this year. That's going to be fun. I might have to swing up and check that one out if that's <laughs> the case. We talked about sports, but this year you excited for uh, the, the teams that you're going to be competing on and, and getting into the sports season a little bit too? Yeah, I'm super excited. I think the girls that we have this year bring a lot of talent to the teams. What are some of the lessons that you've picked up out of sports that are more than just the game itself, but any life lessons that you've been able to, to carry with you a bit? Um, I've learned that you shouldn't go down on the little things and that you should stay positive because otherwise it brings down the rest of the group and then it all just falls apart. We'll round it out with two more questions for you, Jordan. The first one, when, when you look back on South Park High School, what advice would you give yourself if you could go back to being a freshman and make that freshman year a little bit easier? I would say just try to avoid the drama from the other kids because since it's such a small school, it just follows you everywhere. And for you yourself, you're looking at heading off to the next level and, and going off to college, obviously. Uh, athletics has a little bit to do with where you want to go, so we won't ask you what college you're, you're thinking about heading to yet. But what are you looking at majoring in, and, and what made you want to choose that? I want to major in pre-med, biology, or chemistry, just because I want to be a pediatrician. But I think I got into that because when I was not like really young, but kind of younger, I would babysit some kids and I just liked hanging out with them so I decided that would be a good job for me if I don't mind hanging around kids and helping them because I like helping people too. That sounds like a fantastic career, a fantastic place to go to and uh, Jordan I'm excited to see where you guys head off to this year both in sports and and on personal levels so thank you so much for the time and uh, good luck as you keep going through the school year. Thank you.